Hey everybody, hanging out here in the garage for a minute and I was thinking about a conversation that happened last week. And, you know, I get to hang out with a lot of smart, great manufacturing leaders. And uh, one of the companies that we're working with has just started putting up uh, production control boards or, or production scoreboards. And there's a cultural component that comes along with that. Some of the employees feel like, oh, this is big brother stuff. You're just trying to watch me and you're trying to get me to work harder and all of this kind of negative stuff. And this particular leader uh, has been around a long time. He's just fantastic at coaching his people. And so he's explaining this, this conversation and the employee's like, you know, I really don't like this board. Uh, I feel like you're, you're just looking over my shoulder. Um, it, this is not gonna make anything better, all of these things. And uh, th this coach, uh, his name's Larry, said, you know what, I, I understand, but you know what I really don't like? I understand you don't like the board. You know what I don't like? I don't like January. And the employee said, well, why don't you like January? He said, well, in January, you're gonna wanna raise. You're gonna want to make more money. And right now, I don't have any way of evaluating how well you're doing, uh, how consistently you're performing, what kind of quality output you have. And so I understand that you feel like the scoreboard is me watching you or big brother watching you or whatever phrase you wanna put on it. But what it really is, is a way for us to evaluate what's working, what's not working, where the problems are and how we can go about fixing them together. So I understand you don't like the board, I, I get it. However, I want you also thinking about my situation when January comes around every year, because every year I'm expected to pay people more. And if I don't have a good way of evaluating how things are going, and we don't have a good way of identifying where our problems are, and we don't have a good way of making things better, faster, cheaper, giving raises is hard. It's hard on the organization. And he went on to explain that all of the costs are going up. And, you know, every human being who's alive right now, unless they live under a rock, knows that things are more expensive. Groceries are more expensive. Gas is more expensive. Insurance is more expensive. Housing is more expensive. And so the point being, he took a minute and rather than getting defensive and saying, well, we're got to do boards because boards are the right thing to do. He explained the why behind it. And he made it relatable to the person who had the issue to begin with. So as you're going through any kind of change, you're gonna have to manage the people side of that change. It's not just a process change, it's not just putting up a new scoreboard, but getting people to understand why it is, it, it is, right? Why you're doing it and why it's important and what's in it for them. If you will do those three, three things consistently, you'll have a lot more success in transforming your organization to a better place. Hope it helps, see you next time.